Okay, hi, I'm Scout, and this is my cooking show, where I'm going to show you how to wheat paste like a proper anarchist. Um, the recipe that I'm going to be using is four parts water and one part flour. This is not my flour, I'm stealing it from roommates, because if you're going to like make proper wheat paste, it should be stolen. I'm going to boil the water first, so I don't overboil the flour. While that is boiling, I'm going to see if I can also make some in a microwave in case you're one of those punks who does not have a stove, like some people do. Whatever. That's plenty. Let's just boil that much. And because I'm going to boil it before I put the wheat in, so I don't really care how long I put it in for, just, you know, long enough to get it to fucking boil. That is motherfucking boiling water. This is what hankies are for. That's about one to four. So I'm just gonna put this in here. Uh, I'm gonna stir this up and then I'm gonna let it sit and we'll see if it turns into wheat paste. Meanwhile, I'm going to check on the stove. So that is definitely boiling. I'm going to turn it off and then I'm going to add what would be one part wheat flour and I'm going to stir it in using this whisk. Let's say that this one is the punk rock version. I made it in a fucking microwave. Um, I just boiled the water and then added the wheat and stirred it with this fork because some punks don't got whisks. So let's say that if this turns out into wheat paste, then the punks are fine. Let's do this one um, a little more power tool-y. Um, it's like lumpy as shit, and I'm not gonna waste my time stirring this for like half an hour. So I'm gonna cheat. Uh, I'm gonna save this stuff for later. What I'm gonna do though is salt it um, so that it has a longer shelf life. I'm gonna keep this in the fridge for I don't know, hopefully a couple of weeks. And then I'm going to take this shit into the workshop. Some of you probably associate wheat paste with um, vandalism, which is definitely something that wheat paste can do. It's really good for um, applying very quickly in outdoor situations, um, and it's very difficult to remove. So I'm going to show you that part first, but I'm also going to show you how to use wheat paste in a um, cosplay build setting, so anything from like puppetry to theater set design. Wheat paste is a really versatile glue. For instance, here is the cosplay I've been working on. The sticker was applied using wheat paste. And I just happen to have a bathroom door right here hanging out in my workshop, and I'm going to show you how to vandalize it. I'm going to cut all of these things out using a knife. You can do this really precious-like, but I'm not going to take my fucking time about this. It's still warm. You can let it cool off. I'm just going to paint it onto this poor little sign here. Oh, poor men getting wheat pasted all over. I'm gonna take my all gender restroom sign and I'm going to affix it to the wheat paste. The wheat paste is awesome because it stays open so you can position it and reposition it. Bam, that is stuck. And then for the extra measure, I'm going to soak the paper using the wheat paste. Um, and that's going to press it in and make it really fucking hard to remove. Check this out. I'm going to press onto the braille and it's going to come right through. So now that braille is like totally legible again. So that's how you would use wheat paste uh, in its natural environment. I also want to show you how to use wheat paste in a workshop for like builds for like um, theater or cosplay or other stuff like that. So I really wanted to put this um, girl brand skateboard sticker on a helmet because I've always been a fan of that logo, but for some reason the old school girl stickers are like $10 on eBay. So I just decided that I would make my own sticker um, using a Xerox and then I'm just gonna stick it on the helmet and it's gonna look just as fucking good. I'm going to go in and darken everything with a Sharpie first. Um, so it's going to be black black, not just like Xerox black. 
Instead of making the stuff at home, um, what's really useful for this sort of situation is to have wheat paste on hand. The cool part about buying wheat paste from the store is that you don't have to boil it and you can use it in small amounts. I'm gonna like aim for less than jello but more than milk. Mix the shit up and then you let it sit for a couple of minutes. Okay, so it's been sitting for a little bit and it's kind of like gummed up a bit. Um, kind of like jelly, I guess. The cool thing about wheat paste is that it's gonna soak the paper and make the paper wet and pliable. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. I'm gonna put it over this curved section here of the helmet. I'm going to apply this to the helmet. Just glop it on. The glue stays open for quite a long time, you know, as long as it's wet. So I can reposition it. I can like slide it around to get into a better spot. And you can see that it's all like wrinkled up right now, but as the paper soaks, it'll um, it'll flatten out. And then here's the fun part, is that we take the goop and we put it over the top. So I'm just gonna like smooth the paper down using the brush. The paper actually came pretty flat already just with the wheat paste and smearing it around, but now there's a little bit of wrinkles so I'm gonna come back with like my fingernail and squish those things out. There's like a wrinkle right here and I'm going to press into it with my thumbnail and it's going to smooth out because the paper is just pulping now because the paper is, you know, hella wet. This is what it's like when it's dry. Um, it looks pretty good. It could have been a little bit better. I could have been a little more careful with that. But fuck it, it's punk, right? Punk. Okay, well, thank you for watching. If this was useful to you, please contribute to my Patreon. I am a full-time independent artist because of your donations via Patreon, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, this video is actually an appendix to my series on uh, building a Mononoke cosplay. If you're looking for that video series, that is here. Um, anyway, thank you very much.